special types of quadrilaterals. Suppose there are four points on a plane such that none of the three points out of these are collinear. If we join these points pairwise, we get four line segments that do not intersect except at their end points. What do we call this figure? This figure is made up of such four line segments and we call it a quadrilateral. There are various types of quadrilaterals that we can draw on a plane depending upon the position and length of the sides and interior angles of the quadrilateral. Out of these, there are some special types of quadrilaterals which we will discuss in this video. Suppose we have a quadrilateral whose only one pair of opposite sides is parallel. Like this. Then what do we call such types of quadrilaterals? They are known as trapezium. In this trapezium, these two sides are parallel to each other. And these two sides are not parallel to each other. What if the non-parallel sides of a trapezium are congruent? In such a case, we call it an isosceles trapezium. Now suppose both pairs of opposite sides of quadrilateral are parallel like this. Then what do we call such type of quadrilaterals? They are known as parallelogram. In this parallelogram, these two sides are parallel to each other and these two sides are parallel as well. A parallelogram is a very special type of quadrilateral. And there are different types of parallelogram which we will discuss now. Suppose we have a parallelogram such that all four sides are equal in length like this. Then what do we call such type of parallelograms? They are known as rhombus. In this rhombus, all four sides are equal in length. Now suppose we have a parallelogram such that all the angles of this parallelogram are equal to 90 degrees like this. Then what do we call such type of parallelograms? They are known as rectangles. In this rectangle, all four angles are equal to 90 degrees. Now suppose we have a parallelogram which is a combination of a rhombus and a rectangle. Means we have a parallelogram whose all four sides are equal and all four angles are equal to 90 degrees. Then what do we call such type of parallelograms? They are known as square. In this square, all four sides are equal and all four angles are equal to 90 degrees. That is another type of quadrilateral which is different from a trapezium and a parallelogram, which looks like this. In this quadrilateral, two pairs of adjacent sides are equal in length, which means that these two adjacent sides are equal in length and these two adjacent sides are equal in length. What do we call such type of quadrilaterals? They are known as kite. Let us now quickly summarize all special types of quadrilaterals which we have discussed in this video. A quadrilateral can be a kite whose two pairs of adjacent sides are equal in length. Or it can be a trapezium whose one pair of opposite sides is parallel. If the non-parallel sides of a trapezium are equal, then it is an isosceles trapezium. A quadrilateral can also be a parallelogram whose both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. A parallelogram can be a rhombus whose all sides are equal in length. Or it can be a rectangle whose all angles are equal to 90 degrees. And the combination of a rhombus and a rectangle is a square whose all sides are equal in length and all angles are equal to 90 degrees. These are some special types of quadrilaterals that we study in geometry.